All right, we'll take a quick break from the uh, the uh, General Supply air compressor uh, series, and I'll just do a quick little video on this uh, DC generator I picked up yesterday. It's uh, let's see, get a good shot there. The Imperial Electric Company, Akron, Ohio. Let's see, DC generator. 3,000 watts, compound wound, volts no load, 115, full load, 125, full load amperage, 24, full load RPM, 1730, and that's 100% load, continuously, 40 degree Celsius temperature rise. But, well, here's something interesting, they also give you the 125% load uh, ratings. 120 uh, for 100, for one or I should say for two hours 120 minutes at 125 percent load you should see a 55 uh, degree Celsius temperature rise. It's kind of interesting to put it in there. So they say sorry about that. They say right off the bat that they can uh, that their generator can handle uh, 125 percent load for two hours. It's pretty interesting. Made in USA, of course. Pretty big, uh, big unit. Three kilowatt. A lot of, uh, a lot of little rust pitting all over it. Not that bad, though. Oil trough. On there. The, uh, all the wiring is disconnected from the brush holders. There's a bunch of wires just laying on the inside there, and everything external, it, you know, it's all all got to be ripped out and redone. But uh, got a, some nice little aluminum tags on here. S H S E, another one that says S E right there, and then two that say Armature A R M. So that's interesting. I'll have to trace those out and figure out what all they do. So, I mean, I mean, easily, there's three of them that are that look like they were connected to something. So that gets me started somewhere. Um, only uh, first problem I see right off the bat is this nice crack right here in, uh, I guess, one of the bearing support arms. But the cast iron is pretty thick right here, so I should be able to. To V that out and uh, weld that with a cast iron rod and then grind it down, you won't even be able to tell it was there. So let me slip this off real quick. Set it on the ground. Let's see. A couple of. Uh, Identifications on the coils. I'm not sure what that, that that's about. Commutator looks worn. Oops, sorry, commutator looks worn, but it should clean up. I should be able to clean these grooves out between the bars. Hmm. You can see everything in here. Doesn't look like there's any mice damage, but. Uh, find out where that would go. Probably to the brush holder. And this one here. Same thing. Let's see. That is tied as the armature. So that would go to the brushes. And this one that goes back to the windings there. Probably the field windings here. And the actual power windings, these large ones. Pretty neat. Now, I just need a uh, good throttle governed engine to run this. I, uh, all I've got is uh, hit and miss engines now. Need to get a nice, uh, nice Fairbanks or something 
nice five horse Fairbanks to run this. Be pretty neat with the shows. The uh, the shaft on here is a little buggered up. If I could under where the uh, where the bearing rides, but I should be able to polish that up with uh, some emery cloth. Maybe go over Road King's house and use the lathe to make some new uh, new uh, bronze bearings over at Road King's garage. Hmm. All right. Well, might be seeing another video of this a bit later if I, uh, if I do any uh, work to it. All right.